seven, eight. Okay, I hope it's recording. Here's the second video for 6-1 part two. Now we're doing the example four proper. They want you to find uh, the side lengths of a triangle if you're just given one side in a description and then find all the six ratios. Now this is gonna get down in the deep there with uh, drawing all this stuff, but there is light at the end of the tunnel and I'll show you a little shortcut when we get done with this. Okay, now I've taught my students many th many times in the past the ratios of the side lengths for a 45, 45, 90 triangle are one, one, rad two. The book writes it as X, X, and X, rad two. What that means is this, because it's an isosceles right triangle and because of the Pythagorean theorem, if one leg is 10, then I know the other leg is 10, and then X times rad two, just like I did up here, if I take a leg times rad two, the hypotenuse is 10 rad two. So that's how you go from a leg to the hypotenuse for a 45, 45, 90. On the other hand, I'm gonna do the red measures now. It's the same triangle, but just different uh, hypotenuse length. If you're given the hypotenuse, just like I did right up here, you go, you divide by rad two to find out what the leg is. So it's 12 divided by rad two. Well, again, we have to rationalize. 12 rad 2 over 2, which is 6 rad 2. That would mean the legs of this 45, 45, 90 would be 6 rad 2 if the hypotenuse was 12. And then you would need to, if they gave you a theta, you would want to write down your sine, cosine, and tangent, and then uh, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Write down your six uh, trig function grid there and start with your angle theta and write and simplify all of those trig ratios. Okay, Now it's a little bit harder from a 30, 60, 90 triangle because you've got three different angles. I always like to tell the students that it's the short side, the hypotenuse, and the long is always 1, 2, rad, 3. So this is the short side, this is the hypotenuse, and this is the long side. The short and the long are the legs. Or the book writes it down as an x, 2x, and x, rad, 3. So let's do this from, again, the, the black and the red uh, side measures. If I have the hypotenuse is 20, the hypotenuse is 20, I know divide that by two to find the short side. So this one is 10. You always wanna find the short side as soon as you can for a 30, 60, 90 triangle. Okay, and then going from the short side to the long side, you multiply by rad, rad three. Well, 10 times rad three is just 10 rad three. Let's do the same thing with the red angle measure. Now this one's the tough one. If I'm given the long side of 24, how do I go from the long side to the short side? Well, I divide by rad three. So it's 24 divided by rad three, which is kind of the same thing I did like right there. So we're gonna end up dividing by rad three and then multiplying by rad three for the answer. So that's gonna be eight rad three. Do the same thing I did here on your own. So that means this short side is eight rad three and to multiply that by two, it's just 16 rad three. And then again, you're gonna do the same thing with your sine, cosine, and tangent, and then cosecant, secant, and cotangent grid to find the angles. Now here's two U-tries based on this thing right here. This is kind of just like homework problems, okay? So find those measures, find the sine and secant, pause it. Okay, so here's the first answer and all the stuff you need to figure out. And then here is another one. Let's see, stop right there, draw and label it, pause. And then you should have found this is your answer stuff. Okay, that's it for this video.